Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. And this is intensifying after a DC firefighter was shot and killed in Maryland. Yeah, we first told you about this yesterday at five is breaking news. And according to the Charles County Sheriff's Department today, a man says he shot and killed Carl Braxton in self defense. This happened after an alleged domestic violence incident spilled right on out into the streets. Our Scott Broom is in Brian's Road with some of the reactions and questions. Well, let's start with the outpouring in the DC firefighting community for Braxton. Much of it on social media. Chief John Donnelly sending heartfelt condolences to Braxton's colleagues, friends, and family. But the Charles County Sheriff's Department is investigating whether or not Braxton was threatening an innocent neighbor who was dog walking on this sidewalk early Monday morning. Authorities reported Braxton's girlfriend was fleeing an alleged domestic violence attack in the couple's nearby townhome when she ran toward the dog walker at about 3.30 in the morning. According to witnesses, Braxton approached and threatened to harm the man, authorities said in a written statement. The man who has a permit to carry a firearm produced a gun and shot Braxton, the statement said. Uh, both sides are highly interested to see how, what actually happened here. Um, Maryland firearms because... self-defense trainer Ryan Gass is among the hundreds who have flooded social media with comments and questions. Maryland is experiencing a tsunami of new applications to carry concealed guns in the wake of a June 2022 Supreme Court decision called Bruin. Nearly 116,000 concealed carry permits have been issued in Maryland since the decision last summer, according to state police. This is going to be, I think, uh, uh, something that's growing in Maryland. Uh, in the past, you didn't see this happen too often because uh, Marylanders and those who visit Maryland were denied their right to be able to keep and bear arms. But post Bruin, uh, that has now changed. So you're gonna, I think you might end up seeing this happen more and more in Maryland. Braxton was not armed. The gun wielding dog walker in this case has not been charged and is cooperating with the investigation, according to the sheriff's department. But the laws on self defense in Maryland can be complicated, and the state's attorney here must now decide if this was a justified shooting by one of Maryland's growing number of armed citizens or something else. In Bryan's Road, Charles County, Maryland, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. That led up to a D.C. firefighter being shot and killed early this morning in Charles County, Maryland. Yeah, the sheriff's office now says a bystander fired that shot in a confrontation over a domestic assault. 30-year-old Carl Braxton is being remembered where he worked at Engine Company 22 in Shepherd Park. That's where we find DC News Now's Daniel Hamburg. Yeah, and Daniel, a lot of disturbing details emerged just in the past two hours, and now deputies say this man who shot the firefighter is cooperating and has since been released from custody. Tasmin and Chris, that's because according to the Charles County Sheriff's Office, that man shot Braxton out of uh, self-defense. Detectives saying that Braxton assaulted his girlfriend and then tried following her when she left. 
Charles County Sheriff's deputies found 30-year-old Carl Braxton shot this morning around 3.30 a.m. on Matthews Road near Sedgemore Place in Bryan's Road. This is pretty much a quiet neighborhood most of the time. Neighbor Randy Richards heard six shots and went outside. It sounded like a man and a woman. The man sounded like he was on his phone calling 911, saying that he just shot somebody and, and uh, that they needed an, he needed an, an ambulance. Deputies say Braxton assaulted his girlfriend inside their townhouse. The woman got away and ran into a man walking his dog. According to witnesses, Braxton approached and threatened to harm the man. The guy that they said that did the shooting, I, I see him walking his dog all the time. I, I, Seemed like a pretty nice guy to me. Deputies say Braxton continued walking aggressively toward the man, at which time the man who has a permit to carry pulled his gun and shot Braxton. I guess he walked up on something that he felt that was severe enough to intervene. And it's, it's sad. It's sad that anybody had to be to die over that. Now, the sheriff's office and detectives are consulting with the Charles County State's Attorney's Office on whether to file charges. Braxton was with the department for eight years as a firefighter and EMT, most recently here at Shepherd at Engine 22 in Shepherd Park. He leaves behind two boys. We're live in Northwest. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.